Having a fantastic set of gaming peripherals is critical to getting the very best gaming experience, and pairing up an excellent mouse with a feature-rich keyboard lets you exert precise control during those heated gaming sessions. When looking at keyboards though, you probably notice that there's a recent trend towards smaller 10 keyless keyboards, something along the lines of this, and it's quite a substantial difference when you compare it to a full-size keyboard, so you probably wondered what the differences are, what's going to be best for you, and ultimately which size you should buy. To ensure a fair test, Logitech sponsored this video and sent out both their flagship full-size G915 wireless mechanical keyboard and the brand new 10 keyless version. Each of these keyboards offer insanely quick low-profile mechanical switches to give you a super fast response time in games, with a choice of up to three different switches to match your playstyle and preferences down to a T. GL linear switches offer the smoothest press, while clicky and tactile switches give you more of a feel in each stroke, which is ace if you're planning to do both work and play. The biggest difference that you see between the two different keyboards is of course with the size, and the 10 keyless version shaves roughly 25% off of the body, and it's almost like having two children, one in secondary school, one at primary school, oh they grow up so fast. That's a really lame joke isn't it, but I'm gonna leave it in. Moving on in a little bit more of a serious manner, the details between the two are otherwise mostly identical, with the same response times, wireless light speed technology, and then of course a fully RGB backlighting system in both. Now of course you are going to lose a few keys on the 10 keyless version, you can't get something for nothing unless you make all of them ridiculously tiny, but these are keys that many of us would probably never use anyway, with 5 function keys, the number bank and then the mode profile switching keys all hitting the hay. Though with the 10 keyless version you can still change the different modes on the fly, you just need to hold down the function key. And if you're watching this thinking that that's ridiculous, you have no intention of losing any of these keys, you're paying for a keyboard, you want everything on them, then your decision should already be made. That's why the full size version exists. If you think you're going to use everything on it or you just want as many keys as possible for your money, then clearly the full size one is the way to go. But for the rest of us, I think the trade off might actually be worth it. Here's the argument for 10 keyless then. Firstly, less body means less money, as 10 keyless boards are usually actually a little bit cheaper than their bigger brothers, and this is more money you could put into something like a new graphics card or a gaming mouse. But more importantly though, you gain a whole load of extra space on your desk. Now as you'll know if you've watched my full desk setup video, my workspace is pretty big, but even then, with all of this space, I really do love the footprint of the smaller 10 keyless boards, as the extra space is not only more comfortable, but rather useful in games where I'm flicking the mouse around, especially at games when you're playing at lower DPIs. And I'm definitely someone that has a lot of spreadsheets and numbers to play around with, I'm self-employed, right, so I've got to account for everything. But even on those days where I'm sitting in here getting bored out of my mind with spreadsheets, I still don't really miss the number pad all that much, and I've never really been someone for macros. I mean, I probably should be. The more that you use them, the more invaluable and quintessential I think to your workflow they become, but you can still swap and assign different functions in Logitech's G-Hub software anyway, and as profiles can be automatically swapped and enabled when you fire up a certain application or game, even in this situation, I'm still not entirely sure I would need a full-size board. Comparing the two in a little spot of Apex Legends, I didn't see enough of a difference here to make me have a preference one way or the other. As I don't really use the number pad in games, there's not really any benefit to the full-size option for me, but it's hardly a hindrance either. The smaller footprint is definitely a little bit nicer to use, once again thanks to that larger surface area of your mouse pad, but it does have a bit of a lower mass, which means it will move around a little bit more if you lean upon it, but it's not really something that I think would ever concern me. But something that definitely does and is a complete deal breaker for me with a lot of boards and is something that really annoys me is that a lot of them will miss out on media keys because there's not enough space, they try and make it too small, not quite sure how it works really. But on the Logitech keyboard you can see we still get the volume rocker, though it is a little bit smaller, oh no and you get the media keys. So if you're someone like myself that's constantly blasting Hamilton, annoying the neighbours at massive volume, then you can proceed to do so with this keyboard. But then again, I suppose if you didn't have one of those buttons, it would be stuck on all of the time, and even then, I wouldn't complain. The neighbours would, though. Okay then, so where do we stand with all of this? What should you go out and buy? 
Well, realistically, I'm quite happy to go right out there and just recommend 10 keyless. Because for me, the smaller size looks a little bit neater, it frees up some mouse space for you, and it does save you a little bit of cash in the process. But make no mistake, it's very close. The full size is a bit of a safer option if you've never used a smaller keyboard before. And if you are working with spreadsheets quite a lot, and you're working from home and you use the same keyboard across two different devices, or maybe you just want as many macro keys or functions as possible, then obviously the world is your oyster with a G915 full size. I'll leave links to both keyboards down in that description below. I'll be really interested to hear from you on this one though. Are you someone that uses a full size or a 10 keyless? Are you dead set on them or are you happy to chop and change? Do you think there are other factors that are more important? I'm really interested to hear from you and if YouTube wasn't discontinuing the poll card, would you use one? But instead you're just going to have a comment down below which you prefer. Please do. Thank you so much for checking out this video though, I really do hope you've enjoyed it. Smash that like button if you have. If you haven't, you know what to do. And of course hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this. And check out some upcoming PC builds that should be very exciting. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.